What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got our first early teasers and official confirmations from Call of Duty in regards to the Season 3 update. It looks like they've started off the Monday strong with the marketing because they have announced that there will be a Rebirth Island trailer dropping in under 24 hours. But in the meantime, they showcased some POIs. They gave us a free reward that you can actually unlock for Season 3. I'm going to show you guys how you can do all that, how you can get it. And we got some early gameplay footage of the upcoming DLC weapon. So if you find the video helpful or informative, don't don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button but let's go ahead let's get into it usually with the schedule of call of duty what they'll do is they'll drop a little bit of photos maybe a teaser here a teaser there whenever it comes into around monday and tuesday then on wednesday is when they drop on the full-on roadmap that pretty much confirms and reveals the entirety of the roadmap the very first thing that they did today is confirm that rebirth island is indeed returning so all the leaks that we saw have been spot on and the loading screen that we had for rebirth island i guess this is an actual photo and it's not fake it's not altered and this is the real deal that we are getting. They also posted that there's going to be a trailer launching tomorrow. There's like a little countdown over on the official Call of Duty page for the official Rebirth Island trailer. This is the thumbnail that I'm showing right here. I will link the trailer down in the description so you can feel free to watch it when it goes live. We'll also break it down here on the channel and we'll talk about it. Apparently, leakers already have early access to it, so they may end up dropping it a couple hours before Call of Duty does. But anyways, they ended up showing a couple of point of interest over on Twitter, and here's all the locations that they showcase. The first one is Control Center. This is what it looks like. The next one we have is Prison, which is like the main POI that we got for Rebirth Island. Following that, we also have Headquarters, another POI. So it doesn't look like they really changed any of the locations that we've seen in the past. And then we have Chemical Engineering. Following that, there's another four that have been shown, and that is Factory. The next one after that is going to be Living Quarters. The following is called Dock. And then the last one that we have is called Harbor. The majority of the map doesn't look like it's been changed or altered with too much. There are some POIs that are missing. I believe Decon Zone is one of the missing ones. Stronghold. Nova 6 Factory. I believe these are still going to be there. Maybe they just didn't show them in the photos. Anyways, leakers also had a little bit more information in regards to Rebirth Island, the new features, and what to expect when it officially launches. And that includes swimming will be possible, so you'll be able to hit the water very similar to how it is right now with like fortune skip out mazda the warzone 2 concept of swimming is going to be the same exact thing water is going to play the same way as it does with fortune skip the next thing is the brightness is going to be similar to that of fortune skip modern warfare 3 along with modernized rendering meaning that the buildings are going to look a little bit more modern better quality and the lighting will stay the same so it'll be like the middle of the day type of thing going on with that and specialist bonus will be returning those perks are going to come back around the mid-season update so they're not going to be available at launch but they are scheduled for the reloaded update something else to expect is there will be brand new buildings on rebirth island that we did not see previously it's not going to alter the map in any big way it's just going to be small little outposts as you see from this photo in the very right side by the water there's a coney outpost it's going to be very similar to that we saw that already with fortunes keep how some of the areas had a coney outpost just to match with the storyline and the theme of modern warfare 3 and finally it has been confirmed that there will be brand new easter eggs added upon the launch of this map meaning that you'll be able to to get either really good loot you'll be able to get brand new rewards such as cosmetics blueprints camos maybe even the prisoner skin that we talked about yesterday could potentially be one of these free rewards we'll have a little bit more details on exactly what the easter egg is and how you'll be able to solve it when the roadmap comes out as well as when the official launch is released on april 3rd speaking of rewards you can actually get yourself a free weapon blueprint right now in celebration of rebirth island returning all you have to do is go over on x or twitter and tweet at call of duty at call of duty with your activision i ID and hashtag rebirth day and you will get yourself a free caked up weapon blueprint gift that will be granted to you on april 3rd when rebirth island launches and the season 3 update is live so this is just like a little video showcasing what the weapon blueprint is going to look like and what you need to do i'm not entirely sure how long you have left my guess is before april 3rd you need to tweet this at them when you do this correctly they will respond to you saying confirmed and that will let you know that you are going to be getting that blueprint when the game officially launches. So I'll have their tweet link down in the description. Simply reply with your Activision ID and hashtag Rebirth Day and you should be good to go. Jumping into the next topic, we have our first look at the brand new DLC weapons that are arriving with Season 3. We've talked about this previously. We already know that the Moors and the Bow 27 along with the MP9 are going to be coming in. The thing is, we thought that they were going to look very similar to the way that they did over on Advanced Warfare, but that is not the case. They look completely different and you guys might be surprised at the way they look. Shout out to Bob Network 
and forward leaks, they were able to find the Moors and the BOW27 models in the files. And this is exactly what they're going to look like when they get added into Modern Warfare 3. COD Warfare All the News also had a little gameplay footage clip to showcase of it, like just a 3D model all around. And it looks completely different, both of them. The Moors doesn't even really look like all that much of a sniper. It looks more like a rail gun. And then you also have the BOW27, which also looks a little bit more like futuristic looking, a little more squarish. Doesn't look exactly like it did with the AW version. And there is a reason for that. They had to create them in ways that would fit into Modern Warfare 3. So that means the gunsmith, the different attachments, everything that you can put on that gun's loadout, they had to adjust that accordingly. So that way it would match and be able to fit on the weapon without looking odd or causing any glitches or any problems. So that's why they actually ended up looking like this. They also showcased the MP9. And this one looks very similar to some of the aftermarket kits that we have. It looks like a Renetti conversion kit. Surprisingly, this is the actual weapon and this is what it will look like when it launches in the game. The two weapons that you can expect upon launch are going to be the BOW27 and the Moors available through the Battle Pass. They will be free to unlock. You just have to work your way through the tier system in order to get it. The MP9, on the other hand, will be available either through weekly challenges or through a classified Battle Pass sector later on in the mid-season update. According to leakers, further proof that they are in the Battle Pass is there will be Black Cell Weapon Blueprint versions of these, and the only way you can get Black Cell is through the Battle Pass. And then if you guys remember, we talked about how Season 3 could potentially be Advanced Warfare theme based on all the different weapons and the items that were leaked. And here's what they talked about now in terms of the leaks for that. So the EM1 that was originally leaked ended up getting changed to the MP9. The ASM1 doesn't exist in the game files anymore. That was another AW weapon that was expected to come in. The BOW27 and the Moors are also coming in. And then when you take a look at them and you zoom in, which Hey I'm Alex ended up posting a photo of, you can see that it says Atlas Corporations, which is from Advanced Warfare. But then the funny thing is they actually spell corporations wrong right under it with two O's. So maybe the weapons aren't yet complete and they'll do the little finishing touches right before they end up adding it. There was also a QR code that was on one of the weapons i tried really hard to scan that it just didn't pick up so maybe the qr code just wasn't accurate maybe it just wasn't zoomed in far enough i'm not entirely sure maybe that's a teaser for a different easter egg or something like that we have seen that on weapon blueprints in the past before anyways we are going to receive our first official look at rebirth island very soon at 10 a.m pacific standard time tomorrow morning you can expect that along with the rebirth island map being showcased there's going to be brand new operators for season three that are going to come in maybe we'll see some of the battle pass operators some of the cosmetic that are going to be available and then you got the brand new weapons they're going to showcase some footage of those maybe we'll get to see some of these weapons in action and then my favorite part the surprises the random content the random things that they bring into the game that no one expected them to add there's a lot to look forward to so this is the schedule that we have tomorrow we get the rebirth island trailer wednesday we end up getting the official roadmap and the blog post and then on that same wednesday we're going to get a brand new event in modern warfare 3 which is the decays realm event we'll go over and talk about that in an upcoming video the different operations skins available in the store the different maps the modes everything to expect from that event and that will be the last one and then next week we jump into the brand new update but this is everything that i have for you guys here in today's video let me know are you guys hyped for the season three update or what but it's been your boy chidzo be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any news or updates and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace